hi beautiful souls it's absolutely throwing it down outside <coughs> which in one way is beautiful lots of rain lots of cleansing of this beautiful planet certainly cleansing in certain areas maybe in the areas that don't need it as much but um, makes everything nice and green and <coughs> <coughs> And we still had our lovely walk, me and Lanto. I got to try out one of my new waterproof jackets, which I got recently. I got it in Ambleside. I, I actually fell in love with it when I saw it in Harrogate, but they didn't have a size that was suitable to put under layers in. So I was like, when I found it in Ambleside, I was like, yay. And, um, and it was perfect today. Absolutely perfect. My skirt got drenched, but... That's not a big problem. Stick it in the machine and give it a little wash. <coughs> it's um, it's interesting how few people go outside when it's raining. They sort of stay indoors and complain about it. But rain is just part of, of living. You know, we get rain, we get sun, we get snow, we get... Well, maybe in some places we don't, but, but their experiences... And if you look at them in fun ways, then, and if you welcome them and allow them, then it just makes things so much easier rather than sort of resisting, oh, it's rain, I'm really upset, I'm going to stay indoors and I'm not going to do what I wanted to do. You can embrace it and go, you know what, I was going to go for a walk, I'm still going to go for a walk. I'm doing it. Oh, I was going to go sunbathing. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm not going to sunbathe today, but... You're still going to get the sun if you're outside walking around. Getting those rays is vital. A friend of mine, um, we were talking about, um, in my expansion group, we were talking about uh, <coughs> new ways of of eating. And one of the, th one of the, the, the uh, things that I see very clearly is that we will move from actual eating physical food to just living on prana um, but there will be stages to that and of course you know I don't know what the timeline is before this occurs but I do know there are some people already able to sustain themselves on prana alone how how successful that is and how, what that looks like I can't tell you but um, but there are stages and we were discussing you know like well what happens if you uh, really really like something and then you don't want to give that up as Lama Yeshe would say what do you do when the chocolate runs out so <coughs> we were we were discussing this and chocolate of course did come up and I was like what about carob uh -huh. no obviously carob didn't cut it for some of my friends but the sun and this is what a friend of mine mentioned she said when she gets a certain amount of sun it reduces her appetite and it's because she is getting the food from the sun and I was like gosh yes no that's so profound and that's so true because plants get so much of the nutrients from the sun of course they get it from the soil as well but we need the sun to receive certain nutrients we are so um, reliant upon the sun for so much I, I know that it's there's so many things we're reliant on we're reliant on the ocean we're like we're reliant on so much to give us life and we can't ignore the sun. So it's true that when you are in a hotter climate, you eat a lighter diet. And when you're in a colder climate, you tend to eat a, a cooler diet. And, um, and how this looks moving forwards is that actually many of the countries that are currently really cold will not be so cold in the future and, and vice versa. The, the uh, temperatures will change and um, much will change in fact some countries will disappear under the waters other countries will emerge from the waters <clears throat> and that's all part of the the change not only just for how change happens in general uh, throughout planetary systems um, but also there will be partly because of human intervention and what humans have done but um but there is also the element that change is inevitable no matter what. And 
but of course, you know, we, we, can, we do have a part to play in this. We do have a part to play in this. This is why I always feel it's so important to embrace New Earth and to embrace, I mean, you can call it New Earth, you can call it higher consciousness, you can call it unity consciousness, you can call it Christ consciousness. There's so many different ways of expressing things. And I tend to use the same expressions, but maybe I should vary them a little bit more to uh, encompass um, more ways of seeing things to make it easier to understand because even myself sometimes I can be talking to somebody who I know really well and we can be completely in the same uh, field of, of feeling from our heart space but they might be using a completely different language to me they might be referencing things I have got no idea what they're talking about but I don't ask them like what is that what is this what is the other I just go from the heart and go yeah this feels right I get the message they're conveying. I don't need to know the ins and outs because I don't want to bog myself down with great quantas of, of details that don't assist me. You know, you want to keep yourself as pure as possible and not get jumbled and muddled up. So I tend to use things that uh, I understand and I relate to. And then if I adopt something else because I understand that, I relate to it. Oh yeah, I get that. Then I can use it, but certain words, I don't like so I don't use them and um, and I'm sure that's the same for you guys as well so what I want to share today is no matter what's going on outside whether it's bucketing down with rain whether it's snowing whether you're standing in a quagmire of mud whether you are in a freezing blizzard when you when you <laughs> on scorching sun Whatever it is going on, just consider how can you embrace this right now because there will be a reason why that's showing up for you right now. Because everything is serving us, everything is for us, nothing is against us, everything is for us and we have the power to be and do anything we wish and to utilise our environment in ways that can really support the whole and this is this is the thing that's so also vitally important is not to see it just as the individual but to see it as the collective so when you embrace what's going on outside you're embracing it for the all when you're going about anything like when you're even just receiving prana from the sun you're receiving that for the all the collective me and my friends in my in our little group when anything um, is an experience for one of us we all experience it, we all feel it, we all are united in this group, but that's just a just a sort of like helps us to see the, the larger scale with like, with the whole co collective consciousness. And when you are in a group, it makes it easier to understand a bigger group and then a bigger group and then a bigger group and then a bigger group. And, a bigger group. and you realize that we are all so interconnected and that we are all here to look after one another in whichever shape, way or form we choose to, whatever our services may look like. Everybody has a different way of serving whilst we're here, but we're here to serve each other with love and through love, with open hearts. And today I walked in the rain and I did it for you all. <laughs> I did it for me, I did it for my dog, and I did it for the sheer joy and appreciation of beautiful rain. I send you lots of love. My name is Zaza. Like, subscribe and share if you feel called cool to do so. Thank you.